Hey folks, Red Monster SC here with a recap of the known issues and annoyances in 3.15.1 affecting mining gameplay. Each of these have active issue council reports, so check the description below for the link to the report and add your own contribution. I'll also cover if they have any workarounds or known fixes. There are a few known issues for 3.15.1 and earlier that I've already covered with a quick fix video. So if you're having issues selling gemstones from your rock vehicle, having difficulty locating mining lasers and modules at the refinery shops, or finding yourself unable to jettison volatile materials when that timer is ticking down, check the description below for a link to each of those videos. Unscannable rocks are still a problem, both from surface deposits and in the asteroid belt. When I say unscannable rocks, that's exactly what I mean. A rock that is clearly supposed to be a mineable deposit, but is unable to be scanned or fractured. For surface deposits, I have been able to get the rock to start scanning by hitting it with a quick pulse from the mining laser, or just waiting for a few seconds until the game server updates. The rock visibility flickers out briefly, then the scan starts working. For asteroids in the belt, I have yet to find a reliable workaround that would fix an unscannable asteroid once you've found it. I've heard and tried several different methods, but not one of them has been successful. As a general guide, if I come across more than five unscannable asteroids or asteroid clusters in a row, then I'll quantum travel 20,000 kilometers in either direction and start my search over again in a new part of the belt. This reset on locations usually does the trick. While in scanning mode, the detailed readout on a mineable rock or a cluster of gemstones is missing at least one of the materials in the composition list. For gemstones, there's only ever one material in them, so your ship scan will be useless. The good news is that you can visually identify the type of deposit by color. Pink is hadonite, blue is aphorite, and green is dolovine. Knowing how to identify them by sight will save you the hassle of having to land your ship and then scan the deposits using some other means. For ore deposits, this is a bit more of an issue, since there is a more complex composition, and you can't just visually guess at how much bexalite a rock might have just by looking at it. If you have a mining ship, just switch to the mining mode to get the detailed readout, which is always going to be accurate. If you're scouting on a ship with no mining laser, you may need to guess based on how much material is unaccounted for. And if you're mining quantanium, you can use the instability number to gauge the quantanium concentration. An instability of 6 or higher indicates at least a 25% quantanium concentration. There are a few issues with the Prospector HUD. First being an odd digital glitch that distorts random parts of your UI. While this is mostly a cosmetic issue, it can quickly become a distraction. And the second is an issue with the mining HUD brightness. The HUD is just too bright to be useful, making it difficult to tell when you're getting into the optimal zone and potentially causing you to overshoot your target window. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be a workaround for this, so you'll need to be a little more patient when mining, and maybe try to put some darker background behind your HUD to get a little bit better contrast. Collecting gemstones in the rock vehicle is causing the gems to swirl around the mining laser head, and they're very slow to collect, leaving you in the middle of a hurricane of hadonite. The gemstones do appear to be collecting still, but very slowly. My advice is to get the mining laser as close to the gems as you can before extracting, which appears to limit how wildly they fly around, and just be patient with the extraction laser to let it work out its time. The gemstones should be collecting, albeit much more slowly than before. You can confirm this by watching the cargo capacity numbers going up. If this stalls for more than a few seconds, toggle the extraction laser off until the gemstones that are around have settled out, and then try extracting again. If that doesn't work, you may need to pull out a new rock. Gemstones and other collectible items aren't stacking in your inventory, which affects hand mining and rock mining. CIG has acknowledged this issue and committed to fixing in a later patch, although they haven't said whether that's going to be an incremental patch or if we'll need to wait until 3.16. For now, you can take the painstaking efforts to transfer them one at a time, or just take more frequent trips back to the mining outpost if it happens to be convenient. And there you have it, a recap of the known issues affecting mining in 3.15.1. There may be a few others that I've missed, so check the pinned comment below for possible issue council reports. 
I'd encourage you to submit your own contributions to the Issue Council reports linked in the description. And if you have a reliable workaround for one of these issues, leave it in the comments below. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button if this helped you out, subscribe for more helpful videos like this, and check the links in the description to connect with me on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, or Discord.